What's up, Virgo darlings? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. And check out my website, LorelsMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation of workings and things of that nature, baby. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must save the cause for the virgin gods, baby. Yes, honey, yes. So this is what we're going to do for the rest of November. We're going to find out what's going on with you off top, your finances, your career. Then we're going to take a look into your motherfucking romance, okay? So advice cards first, things first, Virgo. To all of my lovely Virgo darlings, let's see what's going down for the rest of November. Coming into December, we have Open Up, Virgo. I should have known this should have been y'all damn card, okay? Now, listen, I met a Virgo. I am attracted to Virgos. I really, really am. And usually they have either Gemini in their charts or they have Scorpio in their charts. One of the two. And these people seem to have a hard time opening up to me. And I don't know why. Virgos, tell me why, honey. Tell me why. But hopefully he'll open up this month, okay? <laughs> or maybe I might. <laughs> okay, Virgo, let's see what's going down. We got to open up. <laughs> and finding balance. Virgo, darlings, talk to me, baby. Opening up, finding balance. I love it. I love it. I love it. So a lot of you guys will be opening up those portals to talk to people, speak to people, um, coming out of that shyness and shit, finding balance. You could be dealing with a Libran energy, okay? But for some of you guys, I'm seeing here that you're going to be finding new beginnings, okay? You're going to be letting go of old habits, old things, four of pentacle energy here coming in reverse. So some of you guys could be letting go of old situations, what you hoard on or what hoards in your home, whatever the fuck, okay? <laughs> Virgo, babies, you guys are letting go and you're opening up. You're opening up to new pastures, greener pastures, Virgo. I love it. Joyous beginnings. You guys, come on, get with the program. Some sort of wish fulfillment coming in. Someone is happy and proud of what it is that they have going on, Virgo. I love it. You guys are in a different change of pace, different mode. And y'all already know I dig that shit. So y'all need to open up. Okay, Virgos. Or somebody wants to open up to you. And that is the message. Okay. <laughs> Five of Pentacle energy here. So there could be some commitments that you guys are coming into. It could be a relationship. Some of y'all could be re refreshing or renewing a relationship, Virgo. So we're going to see what's going on in your money and in your career. And then we'll find out what's going on in your love, okay? So, so far here, I have the death energy. I do feel in your finances and in your career, there could be some sort of restart or start over that you're wanting to renew or some contracts that you're going to be renewing. Some of you all might be releasing some old habits and keeping your options open in your career and in your finances, okay? Seven of Cup energy here says that you have a lot of things to fulfill, but it's also saying that some of you Virgos could be on the worried side of what it is you're trying to renew. Some of you all might be losing passion with this Ace of Wands energy here. Also with the Ten of Swords, you could just be dead tired or your, do or your job is keeping you consistently up or you're having some back issues, whatever the case may be, Ten of Pentacles. Um, was coming in reverse also with the ace of wands so some of you guys are healing but you're wanting a passionate new beginning Virgo some of you guys are getting old and tired and bored you might be having anxiety towards these actions of renewal or also of um, keeping your options open all right um, some of you all definitely could be dealing with making going back and forth traveling outside traveling okay um, some of you all could be going back and forth to different places this is what I'm seeing here with this page of pentacles could be an offer that's coming your way as well um, but I feel like there's some sort of connection or a unionship that you're really thinking about either in a renewal process or bringing it together. Okay. So I feel like you guys have a lot of strength, 
of what you're going to be bringing together, Virgo. But there could be some communication that you're having troubles with, with this Ace of Swords coming in reverse. So you could be having troubles with your phone, your cell phone. You already know it's Mercury Retrograde. We halfway through this motherfucker, Virgo. Okay, so uh, be aware of the communication. Y'all already know us Geminis and Virgos have issues with communication when it comes down to um, the planets changing and going redirect, especially the communication planet. Mercury of the new bitch. Okay, Virgo. So keep that in mind. We're going to find out what's going on between you and your lover, baby. I'm going to pull the camera down and let's get this shit started. Here we go, Virgo. Here we go, Virgo. Okay, babies. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about your relationship for the rest of motherfucking November. Here we go. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner that you seek. Y'all could have, okay, listen, 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 listen. Y'all could have met this motherfucker at a grocery store 10 years ago, 10 centuries ago, okay, past lifetimes ago and shit. You could have already um, explored that this person was somebody that you wanted to deal with, but it could be somebody that you're having a hard time being expressive towards, especially if it's saying this could be the one. So someone needs to open their shell up, okay? Also pay attention to those red flags, Virgo. The signs are cautioning you. So someone could be having some issues or there are some red flags that you do see that is uh, the standing out to you very prominently here. Also express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. So some of you all need to get that shit out there. Like I told y'all, it's like the motherfucker just didn't understand. It's like, honey, honey, you need to go ahead. This motherfucker cook for me, okay? Cook some fried chicken and some old shit. But... I ain't said nothing since, but every time he see me, okay, he needs to be expressive because I know he got stuff to say underneath the surface. And y'all know I be pulling them motherfucking cards, okay? So dealing with the Virgos, you got to pull the cards with the Virgos because they want to express that shit. So some of y'all Virgos need to express it or your partner needs to express it to you, okay? Because I know I didn't express it very clearly. And he just ain't get it, y'all. This Virgo just ain't get it, Okay. <laughs> So, you deserve love. Get out there and shoot some motherfucking communication out there, Virgo. All right? It's saying that it's worth waiting for. You might be taking your time, which I understand. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Some of you all know that um, there were some connections in the past that you're still having to pay attention to those red flags. You might be seeing it in the other people coming in the Mercury retrograde. So, just be aware of that situation. So, I do know if you aren't paying attention to the astrology, that some people really don't know that the Mercury retrogrades are going on, you know, and they're just coming back from the past. So, I'm going to give this man some time outside of the Mercury retrograde. We got about 15 more days 20 more days left okay until the end of motherfucking december y'all until the end of november my bad uh but there is definitely some changes that's happening and i'm going to be waiting until after the mercury retrograde to express my love to this situation i'm kind of back so oh my package is coming we also have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it will come to you now can you just leave it at the front door please Thank you for finding my apartment. So very soon, you're going to clearly decide what you want so that it will come to you now, Virgo. Okay? Some of you all have that soulmate coming in, baby. I'm telling y'all, listen, I love my Virgo today. Yes! Um, can you just leave it at the front door, please? Thank you so much. You too. Okay, so um, for some of you Virgos, it's saying that you got a soulmate coming in. You might be taking your time during this Mercury retrograde, but there is somebody that is feeling you. Okay, so we're going to find out what's going on, how they feel about you, Virgo. We're going to get some advice cards. We're going to get, ooh, control. So I do feel that, okay? Like he's trying to have control, like he or she is trying to have control over their feelings, over this situation. Definitely something that they want to nurture here, okay? But at the same time, some of you guys feel like it's too much control. Also, some dedicated effort. Now, it's going to take some people some time to make this shit work, okay? Some of you all know that you're choosing your battles wisely with the control, okay, that you do have. But it, this could, keep in mind, this could go vice versa, but Virgo, we already know y'all, y'all like to control shit, but also at the same time, you like to have things with ease 
too, okay? So to my Virgo darlings, there's a new vitality coming very soon. This is what you're going to have to choose very soon. It might be a soulmate that might be coming in for you, Virgo. This is something you're going to have to embrace. Either pick and choose those motherfucking battles, whether you like it or you don't. Uh, some of y'all might be liking shit too much, okay? But I do feel like there is a lot of love that is in the situation that you're going to have to embrace with a new vitality or a new beginning, okay? We also have the Queen of Cups. So you guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, just like me, Virgo, hey! Okay, so my Virgo babies, you guys might be dealing with someone who wants that nurturing energy, or they definitely view you as someone who has that nurturing energy, but you might have a hard time, and I'm starting to see this, with relationships, with the Hierophant energy of what you think is what up, is up to your relationship standard. Also, for some of you guys, you might be having a hard time with poly relationships, keeping things under wraps, wanting multiple people here, okay, because you also have the 10 of uh, Cut. So I feel this person definitely views you as happiness. They view you as somebody that they might want to get married to. They might want to throw some rice, some wedding rice, okay? Some good love rice, some prosperity and some old shit, okay? This person might be dealing with flowers or they might be dealing with the outside. This could be you, Virgo. But I'm seeing here that this person wants you to have a relationship, but they're definitely uh, closing themselves off if, you don't, if they don't share the same attributes or the same relationship goals as you. That's definitely what I'm seeing here. They're going to close themselves off. I feel like they're all about their money as well, too. Could be possible Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Very prominent so far. Chariot energy. You have that Cancerian, baby. Okay, so someone definitely feels like you could just be seeing them in the car. Y'all could be meeting in the car. Whatever the case may be. They feel as though you're um, on top of your game. You're on top of um, what control that you do have in this relationship and where it's going. Three of Wands energy here. They do feel like you might have a third party situation or somebody's just wanting some attention every time they see them with the Three of Wands, okay? Or also trying to wait for their ships to come in is definitely how they're viewing you, Virgo. So I do see the actions that they want to take is they could be waiting around for this situation with the Hangman energy. Also, Five of Swords. They feel like they're waiting around too long, okay? Tell them, Virgo. Tell them how you feel. Because I feel in the actions that they're taking, they're wanting this divine unionship, this divine relationship. This is a soulmate. For some of you guys, you're going to have to choose and figure out, um, you know, in this, what's going on. You could be dealing with a little, uh, a little gypsy or a little mystic, okay? But for some of you guys, they're wanting their way with the Nine of Cups. They're definitely wanting that um getting their way, their wish fulfillment, because you guys got this shit twice, okay? In their actions, they could be seeing you as wanting that as well, too. But I feel with this judgment energy, someone could be being very critical of the situation. Someone could be wanting to go up. Somebody could be wanting to go down. But I feel um, for a lot of you uh, Virgos, there is a lot of criticism based in this relationship, but it's kind of like somebody is just wanting to um, set the record straight on how they feel and what they want done with that Nine of Cups energy here. Also with this Queen of Wands, somebody who has some ambition, they definitely want you, baby, okay? They could be seeing you as having that rump roast. <laughs> uh, well, she's got no apples. Those are apples. So, yeah, it could be the apple apple bottom, okay, that they're looking at with that Queen of Wands and their actions that they're wanting to take. They're wanting to have an offer for you. It could be somebody who's at your front door. They might be having some weed flowers or some money or something in their hand for you, baby. Okay, every time I pull this card when I'm getting ready to go see the weed, man, or I'm getting ready to go to the dispensary, I know for sure I'm about to get me some good. <laughs> okay, Virgo, so there is a good opportunity or a good gift coming to you. Uh, definitely something that's charismatic here. You could be dealing with a possible Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but that is the actions that they're wanting to take. They have the hots for you. They could be having the hot bottoms, Okay. Um, full energy here. I do feel like they're wanting a new journey with you. They're wanting a beginning, baby. So you better take this opportunity because they here. They want a new start. Someone could be starting fresh. All right. Um, let's see what you don't see. Ace of Wands. Oh, shucky ducky. So there's some passion here. There's some passion for you. I'm also seeing what the Queen of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Someone wants that communication. They want a new beginning. They could want some sexual energy from you too as well, Virgo. But to me, it's kind of like this person knows that there's a lot of deceit and there's a lot of painted pictures that aren't quite on your level. Okay. Also could be somebody who's an artist here as well. But I'm seeing with the Ace of Swords, 
What you don't see is they want communication, even though they feel like it's a maze to get through. But someone wants some stabbing information, news that comes to them, okay, some good news that comes to them about you communicating back and forth. Definitely could be dealing with a Pisces energy. This truth, some truth could be coming out pretty soon about how this person feels about you and their connection or in their communication. They could be communicating to you what they really want. Let's see what they want. Looks to me like a, it's like a surprise. Or they're wanting um, some clarity with you. Sun energy here. Also six of pentacles, okay? So it could be a surprise at your door or it could be somebody who wants to stand in the hot, heated sun with you and dance in the moonlight and the sunlight, okay? <laughs> or it could be that someone uh, feels blinded that you're not really telling them everything. So I do feel with the uh, new outcomes and the communication that they're wanting, they're wanting you to come out more with communication is what I'm seeing here, Virgo. Okay, so let's see about possible outcomes for you. We have the justice energy here. So someone could have had some sort of lover's quarrel or there's a decision to be made or someone is coming to have some fairness here with this justice energy. You could be dealing with a Libra. I'm also seeing a uh, page of page of cups what's this page of cups here for okay so there might be a change of events with a message or some sort of message with a decision that's made but um i feel for a lot of you guys there's a new change of destiny that's happening that's what this new vitality is all about okay somebody has a new beginning for you okay virgo i feel this person is afraid to walk away from the situation they could be uh, someone that feels permanent because I feel when I see tattoos that there's something that could be permanent or something that someone feels uh, like it's something that they have to do or they have to fulfill. OK, like it's just an urgency to do it. But at the same time, they need to think about the permanency of it all. So I do feel um, and the symbolism as well, too, of what you're getting uh, put on you. So 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 a lot of you Virgos. Um, I feel possible outcomes. You could be leaving away from a situation. Destiny could be taking uh, its own course and making you leave away from a situation. But for some of you all, you're really thinking about the permanency. Now, it could be making you a little uh, anxious, you know, feeling kind of overclouded with thoughts and things of that nature or having those dark thoughts for some of you guys. But I feel like if if you feel you can't escape, you can with the Ten of Wands energy here. Some of you all are working very much so to leave away from the situation or putting in progress towards having an understanding of things not being in your way, okay? Um, now, for some of you Virgos, I do feel someone could be spying on you, Page of Swords, energy here, possible outcomes. And I'm saying that it could be a possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Someone feels like you're going to be keeping your options open or you might be keeping your options open towards a third party situation or someone feels like you're wa they're watching you or you're having to watch them because they're keeping their options open. Always constantly having to, you know, sneak and figure out what's going on. Could be on social media. It could be that you have a lot of options to choose from, but someone is definitely watching your options. Someone also could be waiting or awaiting for someone to be in pain because they've been watching them. Um... Keep their options open for some of you, Virgo. Keep in mind that this could go vice versa or, you know, the cross watcher that's watching it could go for them too. But I feel possible outcomes. You guys have new beginnings with this Ace of Pentacles. Also 10 of uh, Pentacles. So a lot of Pentacle energy here. Definitely new beginnings coming in towards the end of November. I feel some of you all are guarded. But I feel with these Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, could have a money abundance coming your way. Also, some love that's coming your way that you'll be sharing within a family or relationship or your legacy overall. Feeling very high about it is what I'm seeing here for some of you guys, okay? Now, Virgo, I do feel like some of you all need to purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka and get your emotions together with that temperance energy before you approach anybody or before anybody approaches you. Because some of you guys might be wanting to have your foot in the next door, but you need to make sure that you're straight okay, or that you take care of yourself before you actually have your foot in the next door. okay. But there's definitely some sort of gift or an offer that's coming in for you. Definitely could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Someone is really thinking about their foundation with the family okay, or some sort of foundation or starting this together. But it's saying you're going to pick and choose your battles with your soulmate and you're going to have to decide very soon what it is that you want okay so let's get a um advice card for you and we're also going to take a look at the air sign fire signs um <clears throat> and also um 
the last part of the information that you need to know about about yourself or just overall together Virgos, y'all know I love you guys so much. So let's find out what's going on. If you're dealing with a water sign, let's see what's up. Virgo, if you're dealing with a water sign, I feel like somebody is needing to have a little bit more courage and a little bit more strength towards the relationship. Could be dealing with um, someone who's trying to grab the situation and get it in control. I also feel like they could be feeling like there's a third party situation that you might need to leave behind or that they have to leave behind. Three of Wands energy here. Also, Three of Cups, so definitely a third-party situation or some three extra people that are from the outside that are bringing in um, their pressures into this relationship or in this entity, okay? I feel with the Six of um, Pentacle Energy here, someone is really thinking about the deep living and taking. could be some children involved, but definitely taking care of those matters and having a lot of progression toward those matters with this strength energy here if you're dealing with a water sign okay if you are dealing with an air sign virgo someone has shut themselves off but there's definitely some sort of change or a new beginning that's coming in okay it could be for some of you all to completion here or this person has just shut themselves off from this situation altogether and focusing on money and things that are coming into their fruition could be trying to go into single mode as well uh, but i also feel like they want a connection to virgo so this person could be very independent, very single, but they're also wanting some sort of connection. I am seeing that there could be a change of events that might be happening if you are dealing with an air sign that is destined to happen, okay? So if you are dealing with a fire sign, this person wants a new beginning with you. They want a family, a relationship, an established relationship, or they have there is a family that's here. If you're dealing with a fire sign, they want some either some sexual energy or a new passion with this ace of wands, okay? If you are dealing with a fire sign, this person wants to write a letter to you possibly, or they're wanting to combine everything together, making everything blend together, this family unionship, this relationship, the sexual energy, writing, communication, things of that nature, the charisma of the relationship, okay? The enthusiasm of the relationship is what I'm seeing here, all right? If you are dealing with an earth sign, I'm seeing here that they want to take an action towards you. Knight of Wands energy here, Virgo. And also, for some of you guys, this person definitely could be working, but they want a new start with you, a fresh start with that full energy. They're going to be taking some major precautions is what I'm feeling because they might be keeping their options open, but at the same time, they're wanting to keep their options focused towards you. So you already know who this could be befitting towards, okay? So, Virgo, my love, let's see what's going on. With this last card, wow, okay, page of cups. So there could be a message of some sort you guys might be receiving towards the end of the month. Or overall, there is a lot of pheromones and love that's being displayed here that someone feels um, very happy, okay? For some of you guys, it could be that you might feel alone, but at the same time, um, this is a new beginning. This is a love offer for some of you guys. This is balance. I love it, Virgo. So some of you guys have balance coming in with a partnership just between yourself or between each other. There's a partnership, could be some communication or someone has a love offer that's going to be coming towards you. You guys had a lot of good fucking cards, Virgo. I'm going to go ahead and lift this screen up. All right, my loves. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next video. If you need to get a personal read, make sure that you hit that description box down below and check out my website, laurelsmoon.com. All right, Virgo. I hope that he listened to this video because y'all Virgos need to listen to me, honey. I'm trying to tell y'all somebody is waiting in the midst. They've been blowing kisses, winking at you, stopping at you and everything. And ain't nobody said nothing yet. So Virgos, let me know down in the comments down below what's going on in your love life. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.